Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. Today we're going to discuss who should be fasting as well as the different types of fasts. So while fasting has many, many health benefits, it is not recommended for everyone. So before we all go running to the kitchen to throw out all our food, let's make a quick list, shall we? Okay, first of all, children should not fast. Second, pregnant or breastfeeding women should not fast as the ingested nutrients are needed for the baby. And finally, and this one should be obvious, anyone who is malnourished should not fast. And that's it. All the rest of you can fast. Knock yourselves out. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's discuss the many different types of fasts. So Dr. Fung breaks them into two categories, short fasts, which are under 24 hours in duration, and longer fasts, which are over 24 hours and have almost no limit. The accepted minimum duration for any fast is 12 hours. So anything less than that, and you are not fasting. Now, I want to give you a frame of reference here if you are still a bit skeptical. The world record for fasting is an unbelievable 362 days. Let's take a moment and let that sink, sink in. Over a year of fasting. This was in 1973. It was a 27 year old man in Scotland who weighed 456 pounds. For the duration of the fast, he was able to drink as many non caloric liquids as he wished. I mean, you would only survive two or three days without water, but obviously you can go a bit longer without food. He also took a multivitamin daily. He dropped from 456 to 180 pounds over the course of the fast. That's an average of a little over three quarters or 75% of a pound a day. This has been my experience to average weight loss as well. Five years after the fast, he still only weighed 196 pounds. So ask yourself, if someone can do that, why can't I do it for 12 hours? Okay, so here are the short daily fasting regimens. These regimens are generally recommended for people who are trying to lose weight but do not have type 2 diabetes. 12 hour daily fast. So an example of this is you would eat three meals between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Ideally, you space these meals out by six hours or so. With this method, you have a 12 hour eating period offset by a 12 hour fasting period and you would do this every day. A lot of people do this type of fast without even realizing it. Next is the 16 to 18 hour daily fast. So with this fast, we're going to skip the morning meal every day. Now let's pause a moment here to make an observation. We constantly hear that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And quite frankly, it is. However, you don't have to eat breakfast in the morning. After all, the word breakfast comes from break your fast. So whenever you end your fast, that's your breakfast. It can be any time of the day. Now, most people actually find it easy to skip the morning meal. Generally, you don't wake up feeling famished. So have yourself a nice, cool glass of water and start your day. All right. So an example of this fast would be to eat two or three meals between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. That gives you a 16 hour fasting period with an eight hour eating period. Or we can wait until 1 p.m. to eat so that we have an 18 hour fasting period offset by a six hour eating period. Now this method is often called the lean gains method as it was popularized by a bodybuilder named Martin Birkin on his blog, leangains.com. I have a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, so next is the 20 hour daily fast. So with this method, you would eat one or two meals between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. every day. This gives you a 20 hour fasting period and a four hour eating period. This diet is known as the warrior diet after the book of the same name 
written by Ori Hoffmeckler. This diet is used by many professional athletes. Ronda Rousey is quoted as using this diet. If you don't know who she is, then do a web search and see if you think her fasting regimen is detrimental to her health. All right, and finally, we have the 24-hour daily fast. This should be pretty self-explanatory. You eat one meal per day at 7 p.m. and fast until 7 p.m. the next day. This method of fasting was popularized by another bodybuilder, Brad Pilon. It was described in his book, Eat, Stop, Eat. This is the diet that I typically use other than special occasions. Now, alternately, you can have your meal around noon or 1 p.m. and then fast until lunch the next day. Okay, that brings me to the best part about fasting. You can tailor it to your own schedule and lifestyle. There really is no true fasting regimen. It's all up to you, your schedule, and your results. Just keep it to a minimum of 12 hours. All of these fasts are recommended for anyone who takes medication daily, especially diabetes medication. And I'm going to stress this now. Do not fast longer than 24 hours without consulting a physician, especially if you are on medication and or are diabetic. Please take this advice. The point of this channel is to get you healthy. Take it slow and be safe. It will work, trust me. What I personally recommend is to break your body in slowly. Do a week of 12 hour daily fasts or 16 hour if you find the 12 hour too easy. Then the next week do 16 to 18 hour fasts daily. If that goes well, then stay there or throw in two days of 24 hour fast on your busiest days of the week. So if you have a hectic day on Tuesdays and Thursdays, then those would be great days to try a 24 hour fast. Again, there is no hard and fast rule tailored to you and your life. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. In our next video, we'll discuss the longer types of fast, as well as tips for making your fasting a bit easier. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Good or bad, we want to hear from you. And until next time, keep being a loser.